Good morning. Hey, it's Tuesday and I'm out on the Willoway Dock. The first video of the year and uh, we're having some nice weather here in Ohio and folks are getting ready to go. So let's take a walk through the dock. Well, as you can see here, our potted trees are uh, going out on the dock here heavily this week. You know, a lot of folks are getting in the deciduous material that's got a little more cold hardy, getting things set up. Beautiful potted trees. Good time to get them in. So here we're looking at our seven gallon Acer blood goods. Nice stocky plants. You know, you know it's spring when you see these beautiful Lenten rows. You know, we have some gorgeous varieties here. These are sold, but you know, I wanted to show you they're starting to bloom. We have a lot of buds on them. The guys are keeping them cool, and so we got some shelf life to these, but you know, this is something you could get in and wouldn't have to worry about any cold protection at all. These are gorgeous hellebores for Lenten rows. Again, a lot of deciduous material here. We're looking at seven gallon Palabinina Myri. Look at that gorgeous plant. Nice, heavy, full of seven gallons. Landscape grade. Here we're looking at Witch Hazer, a Hemimalis. Uh, this one is Crimson Fire in the seven gallon. Here we're looking at some beautiful seven gallon nectarines. You know, we have a lot of nice fruit trees going out. Look at the head on that plant, man. This is a gorgeous seven gallon fruit tree. So here on this dock, you see the guys have got them all racked up here. We're looking at some two gallon knockout roses. And I'll just come in here, we'll see a lot of these go out. You know, we've got them trimmed down. Oh, these are about six inches or so. They're gonna break nicely, give you a nicely branched tree with a lot of flower buds. Two gallon knockouts. Well, you can see here how quickly they're loading. Man, we had a lot of gorgeous roses on this order. Again, you can see here how popular our potted trees are. The guys, again, are out digging in the fields. Great looking specimens coming out of the fields. But again, look at these beautiful container trees. Here we're looking at some Heptacodium from first edition. This is a new one, Tianchen. And it's zone five to nine. Gorgeous foliage, beautiful flower in the spring. Really nice addition to your garden. This one again is hardy five to nine. Heptacodia. This is a cute one. This is a patio peach called Bonanza. You can see those buds are swelling up. Gorgeous little plants here. Put one of these seven gallon Prunus sestinas out. Nice heavy grade, multiple canes. Seven gallon Prunus sestina. Again, we're looking at some gorgeous seven gallon fruit trees here. We're looking at cherries and apples. A lot of folks getting those in. You know, with this warm weather, it would be a great time to get them planted, get them started. And the small fruits and uh, fruits in general are going to be hot for this year. Here we have seven gallon uh, Stellata, Royal Star Magnolia. Look at the bud count on these. You know, and these are going to pop here probably in another three or four weeks. You know, you're going to start to see these open up. And uh, it would be a good time to get them in, especially if you're in a cooler climate because you could hold those blossoms out. You just want to make sure you get good air circulation to them, keep them inside out of the weather, and you'll have a long bloom cycle on it. Seven gallons to lot of. We've seen the seven gallon Prunus Sestina, and here we're looking at the three gallons. Again, nice canes to them. Another favorite here is our seven gallon Hetz Columnaris. Look at that shape. So in the background there, we're looking at Prosythia Show Off. And you know, let's go in here and look. Buds are still tight, we got some time on them. But again, this is an early spring flowering plant that you want to get in. And then down here, we're looking at Summer Wine. This is the new one, Summer Wine Black. Deep, rich, dark foliage to them, a little more tight and compact plant. The guys have trimmed these back for you. As you can see here, those are going to break and look fantastic for you. Again, small fruits are going to be hot. Here we're looking at uh, blackberries, baby cakes, and uh, this was the raspberry, or raspberry shortcake. You can see here, nice, heavy, full plants. Small fruits are going to be really hot. And then down here, we're looking at Sunjoy Maroon. And uh, gorgeous plants in a two-gallon here. So on this rack here, we're looking at uh, more blueberries. This one is Jelly Bean. Tight, compact grower. Great for a patio. So you could put these in a patio pot and right off the edge there so you could pick your fruit for breakfast. Then over here, another Barberry from Proven Winners. This is Sunjoy Mini Saffron, which is a yellow. Again, they're trimmed up, looking good, ready to go. And then you see the color here. This is uh, Yucca Color Guard. 
Again, nice color here, early spring. Got the color guy. Another color plant, we'll have this color all season long. Here we're looking at emerald and gold euonymus, moon shadow, and then here we're coming, coming down, excuse me, this is gaiety. So euonymus gives you a nice selection of color, and they're looking good. Here's one we'll see a lot on the dock. Here we have the new gen boxwood. This one is independence. Gorgeous three gallons here, guys. So we have independence and freedom. Again, these are boxwood blight resistant plants. They're beautiful landscape grade three gallons. So here we have the 19 centimeter drifts. And again, I think you can see the guys trimmed them all back, got them shaped up for you. You can see they're actually starting to break growth in some ways. So uh, these are going to break growth and look fantastic for you. 19 centimeter drift rows. Look at that color here. Here we're looking at uh, Thuja Fire Chief and then Boxwood. This is Winter Gem. Great values here. These are three gallon plants. Look at that color. Good value. Very nice three gallon. These are Alberta spruce. You know, these are tight on the market right now, but we got some great looking plants. We're looking at uh, two gallon Alberta spruce and another favorite. Here we got three gallon Salix Nashik. Gorgeous three gallon. This is Boxus uh, Green Mountain, the uprights. Very nice shape to these. Beautiful three gallon Green Mountain. These are two gallon hydrangea pinky winky. So all the paniculatas, again, we shear those back. You can see nice heavy canes there. You shear them back to get the bulk to them so then they have great shape of flower all season long. So those are two gallon pinky winkies. And here we're looking at juniper blue pacific at three gallons. Another popular upright is our own. This is boxwood, this is cranberry creek. Very nice, here we have a five gallon. This is Viburnum Pregnance. Gorgeous plant there. Now back up, you can see in the background, seven gallon emerald greens, good shape and consistent crop. Very nice order here, we're looking at three gallon. This is Bloomerang. Look at the canes on that three gallon crop. Nice, nice plants. Three gallon syringa Bloomerang. Another peak, again, much of this stuff is sold, so you want to get it on your uh, loads and get it in your garden centers or your wholesale lots. But here we're looking at our 15-gallon uh, Texas captains. Here we're looking at three-gallon. This one is China Girl Holly. Again, big, beautiful plant there. And then fragrant viburnums. This is Carlisi Select. Fragrance are going to be hot here. Uh, again, some of the early colors of spring. Beautiful fragrant viburnums. Quite a few holly going out here this today. Down here we're looking at. Uh, Procumbens Nana Juniper. This is a three gallon plant, believe it or not. Look how big and beautiful that is. Then coming over here, this is a workhorse in the landscape. You know, if you're doing jobs, this is five gallon Texas Densiformis. Look at the size of that plant. You're getting almost a seven gallon plant at a five gallon price. You want to grab these. A couple more holly to look at here. Here we have three gallon Blue Princess and Blue Maids. Got nice size to these. Here we have two gallon mop cypress. Wow, look at that color. I mean, you could get that out on the lot today. Have some nice color there. Good size in these two gallon mops. You'll see this a lot again throughout the spring and summer. This is Barberry Crimson Cutie. Again, this is a non invasive, certified non invasive Barberry. Recently, we've seen a, a video, you know, seminar with Dr. Brand and how he produced this plant. Great, nice type compact habit, much like your um, pygmy, but not an evasive. This is the worry free crimson cutie. Give you a peek here at the five gallon uh, Thuja Green Giant. Again, good value on these. These are tipping 42 inch. Nice. Well, you can see they're already starting to load trucks this morning. Gorgeous. Those are those uh, three gallon bloomerangs going right on the truck. Another peek here at those three gallon bucks of winter gems. And here we have the green velvets, another very popular one. So we got stocked up on boxwood here. We're shipping them out, people getting ready for spring. Here we have another fragrant viburnum. This is uh, in the Plants at Work program called Spice Island. Then we're going to back up here again. Look at all the blueberries going out, guys. Small fruits are going to be very hot. Three gallon my rice, looking good. And then of course, more boxwood. Well, they're still bringing stuff into the dock here, loading them up. 
Well, that's a quick walk through the dock here. As you can see, the guys are busy. We got gorgeous hellebores, landscape grade, plant material for evergreens, gorgeous container trees. Be sure to get your load set. People are stocking up. Man, this dock is crazy today. Wish you all a fantastic spring. I'll see you next week.